Hello and welcome to my Fire Emblem Three Hopes Assassin Guide. In this guide, we're going to be going over the Assassin class, what it's good at, and what you can do as the class to be effective. So the Assassin is a fast attacking sword class that is weak to lances, strong to axes, as you would expect a sword class to be. Uh, it has a class action that triggers by pressing X while moving forward, or just when pressing X before doing any attack. This is a class action. It produces alternating attacks that attack. It slashes once per X press. Uh, it also fills over time. The class gauge fills over time. Uh, so this uh, attack attacks rapidly. It moves you around the map. It's good for like repositioning, as you can see here. It's good for dodging attacks to some degree, just for mobility. So let's go over the basic attacks. So your basic Y, just a horizontal slash for low damage. Uh, y, Y. The second attack is a, another horizontal slash for low damage. Your third Y is a fast uppercut slash for low damage plus, so a little bit higher. So there it is, so a little bit more damage. Your fourth Y is a weak, fast backspin slash for medium damage. So there it is, that tail end attack there. Then your fifth Y is a fast dual slash for medium damage. So there it is. He blocked it, but you can see the attack. Your sixth Y, you have seven Ys, so we're almost done here, is a fast triple slash for medium plus damage. So there it is. And then I got hit by an attack chain <laughs> from an enemy. And then your seventh Y is a small meteor. So I'm just gonna spam Y and then you'll see it at the end. There it is. We'll do it again. So there's the small meteor. Okay, so those are your Y attacks. So let's go over the X attacks. So the class gauge fills over time. If you use X without doing anything, you'll start using your class gauge attack, your class attack, your class action. Uh, so just keep in mind. And then if you're ever doing any chain, so let's say I'm just spamming Y attacks, and then I start spamming X after doing X attack, We'll start doing a class action. Alright. Actually, what attack is that? Or is that just the launcher? That's just the launcher. It just looks weird because I'm moving forward. Yeah, okay. Alright, so your YX is just a launcher. So it's very fast. You can see there, you kind of like slash a few times. Launches enemies up. And then your YYX, so 2YX is a high commitment attack, at least for this class, in terms of how fast it attacks. Throws a bunch of daggers, so I'll show that. So it is pretty high commitment, considering the pace of the class. Uh, it's, it's For other classes, it would be considered medium commitment, but you can also do it at range. So you can kind of kite with this, to some degree. Okay, your 3YX, or YYYX, is the spinning blade attack. That's pretty good for keeping up mobility. Moving and attacking is usually good. It lets you reposition away from enemies and threats. It makes S rank, getting S rank easier because then you're taking less damage. Now obviously you don't want to do it into enemy attacks. Alright, so 4YX is an arc slash into Ice Bomb. This attack has pretty good range and kind of like low-ish commitment, but it's, so it's pretty quick, pretty good range. So there it is. It does like an arc slash and creates an Ice Bomb in the direction you're facing. So if you want to redirect it at an enemy approaching you, you have to aim at the enemy with the attack before this one. Like that, except I did the that attack instead. So one, two, three, four. There you go. Get the ice bomb on him, and then your five Y X summons two clones that attack with you, and it does good burst damage, and you move. All right, so it looks like they're having a hard time. Wait, how is he? I love how like healers. <laughs> 
<laughs> can heal things, but they just don't. <laughs> I, f I feel like there should be you should be able to order things like that. You should be able to order them to heal. Uh, at least at least we can set them up with healers, and then we're fine. All right. So the two clone attack, I think, is one of the best attacks. You can see it there. That's the, and then that attack I just did is the final attack. Six Y into X. So that's four Y. That's five Y, that attack there. So that's the five Y. And then the six Y. Is that? Pretty good damage, pretty good AoE, kind of like medium commitment. It's not as much commitment as 2YX. Uh, it hits everything around you. So, it's pretty good actually. It's a lot of good attacks in this unit type. Alright, so let's go for class tactics. Because this is really where the rubber hits the road. Alright, so you want to use mobility while attacking to avoid getting hit. So, mobility could include just like moving away from things as you're slashing them, hitting them with the edge of the hitbox. Using dodges in between basic attacks to get behind things and start doing chains. Uh, using class action to rapidly move around. So like let's say an enemy's about to hit you. You don't have to dodge, you can use class action. I mean dodging can be good situationally, like I dodge all the time. Uh, but class action is another way, especially if an enemy is under pressure and its stun gauge is appearing. You can start going to town on it like I'm showing here. So combat arts to start a chain, this is this is true for every single class in the game. So every class has an advantage when attacking, when using combat arts against enemies. So for example, this paladin. Except he moved out of the way because he's so fast. It's head on close. So he immediately starts him on the ground. And we can use our mobility to get behind him and avoid getting hit. There we go, that's a big flash strike. We can just kill the flash strike. So mobility is key, easy damage mitigation. Uh, class actions to attack while maintaining high mobility, that's pretty useful. Right, it looks like they're attacking this now. Okay, so YYYX or triple or three YX is great for keeping momentum. Oops, <laughs> did the extra attack. There you go. So that attack's good for keeping momentum. Then you can like dodge afterwards, get behind something, start smacking it. Uh, one thing to note is after dodging and attacking with Felix, he attacks faster, so it's kind of hard. Like if you get used to using Felix, like he's really good because he increases his own attack speed. But that's why it's kind of throwing my timing off a little bit, because I don't play as Felix ever. I run him, but as, like, a AI. Okay. So, 5YX is also really good for keeping up momentum. Here, let me get used to the timing on Felix. There we go. So, you just keep moving while attacking, that's, like, huge. Let's actually go help out the team, because they're kind of struggling. But 3YX and 5YX are both really good for keeping up momentum and damage. Then open up the combat arts. So you can see how mobile you are. It's almost hard to tell what's happening. <laughs> I meant to do 5, 5Y, but I did 6 there. Just hit him with some damage. All right, we're taking a lot of damage, actually. I usually don't just dive into enemies like this. I usually kind of, like, pick them apart. Like, line them up. Try to dodge to the sides. Probably use A attack here. Using your A attack on things is, like, one of the easiest ways to beat the game. Like, to kill... Kill things quickly, put a bunch of burst damage on a wide group of enemies, like on a large group of enemies. Enemy. 
All right. So for builds, I would say every unit's different. Let's retreat. Just start from the beginning. The main thing for uh, class tactics, though, is dodging to get crit damage, uh, using mobility, using combat arts to start a chain, uh, use class action to continue a chain or to just like rapidly reposition out while attacking. You can hit things from the sides as you're using the class action by them. Uh, then also 3YX, 5YX are really good for keeping up momentum and attacking. So it's just up to you to position correctly. Um, when I was taking a lot of damage in the center, there's like a mage off to the side I didn't know was there, and I was just getting hit by that, so always be aware of your surroundings. With this class, it can be really easy to get into danger because it moves so fast, so you just have to kind of get used to it. Alright, let's check out builds. So, this is just kind of like thief and assassin abilities. Uh, you, you always want to get sword prowess 3. Uh, axe Breaker can be nice, so you can just kind of nuke Axe units down faster. Uh, things like Apex Sword are always good. Uh, boosting Critical is good. Thief's Wisdom is good if you can get it. You either get Thief's Wisdom or Thief's Ploy, I believe. Uh, Thief's Wisdom just gives you elemental effects on your class actions. So, pretty useful. Um, other things in here. There's really not too much in here. Like, Sneak Attack is obviously really good if you can get that. You have to... Position yourself behind enemies, scales your damage based on your decks. So this is also really good. Um, for actual, like if you were to unlock a bunch of things and build this class out, you're going to want to look for, let's see. Let me go back to the menu. Just looking for good things that we would want to get. Anything that increases damage. What does specials matter? Defeating 30 more enemies with a single warrior special increases crit rate. That's interesting. That's pretty cool. What is United Front? That's interesting too. So like any any damage increase. Luna. Some classes will give you like strength plus two and stuff like that. Like anything that increases damage is always gonna be useful. Uh, and also, every class is different. Everyone has different stuff. Like, each, even though you all have the same classes, each class unlocks different things. Absorb speed. That's really good. This would be pretty good on this map. Or on this map, on this, on this class. Uh, but yeah, aside from just, like, basic thief and assassin abilities, you're going to want sword prowess 3 at, at the very minimum. Uh, okay, let's go over the actual class abilities for the class really quick. Okay. So for the class abilities, you usually get either sneak attack or dex plus 5. I would say sneak attack is better than dex plus 5. Uh, attacking foes from behind increases damage. If you're dodging behind enemies and then hitting them in the back, this just gives you bonus damage. And com when combined with a fast attack speed, you're just looking at... Tons of free damage, killing things much faster. Also consider this should affect combat arts. So if you if you like roll behind a mounted unit and use flash strike, for example, which is, you know, counters mounted units, it should spike them down in a huge like it already hits really high. And it even hits it hits it has base high high base damage, does the weakness damage against horses, and then also will deal more damage if you're behind them. So this is just really good. Despoil. Uh, you either get Despoil or Lethality, or Lethality. Killing Foes awards gold. Um, I mean, it's whatever. If you want to use this to help you get some gold, <laughs> knock yourself out. There's no downside, really. Unless there's, like, better things to use. Uh, for Lethality, it just gives you a dex times 0.25 chance of instantly killing a non-commander foe. So, that's what Lethality does. And then you have Assassinate, which is a combat art. So it has, it's kind of like a, a lethality as a combat art. It's a chance to instantly defeat a non-commander unit. So that is Assassin. Uh, it's very similar to Thief, just a fast attacker. It has good damage output, good mobility. Um, I'm trying to think, like, is that really a downside to using it? Let's just kind of, like, play 
for like a few minutes running it, just kind of see what we can get done. I'm going to do flash strike on the front. Alright, that was a crit, 1.8. Let's see what it hits on the back. Just curious. Oh, he turned, dude, he turned around so fast. Alright, let's, let's try to time it better. Let's wait for him to commit a little bit more. Let's do an all out defense on this. Okay, that's 1.3, no crit from the back. Now it's hit him from the front. And it's like a slight damage increase. But another thing for class tactics, and this is true for most classes, uh, circular dodging and circular movement where you're like moving off to the side like this is usually a good way of avoiding getting hit. So I'm kind of like dodging in a circle around things. Alright, we're just using our mobility to kind of like chase kills. Let's go fight the Dark Knight. <laughs> just instantly kill the Bow Knight. He was already low though, but still, it's funny. Oh, he blocked that. So your speed is your biggest asset, I think. Oof, crit boosted flash strike. That's disgusting. <laughs> I think getting crit boost is better than perfect guard because if you use a combat art out of that shit, it's pretty good. Especially if it has weakness, it's just like more damage stacking. So here I'm chasing up a juggle class action. Um, let's see, I might as well go defend this one while they're defending this. Dark Bishop. I could have used class action there to follow that. You can also use class action to start attacking off to the side. So similar to like attacking like this, you can use class action in that way. You're the coolest. So with Felix, he has this thing where like if you hit an enemy and then dodge, you get like a speed increase. And an attack an attack speed increase, so he starts he starts attacking so fast it's like hard to keep track of. Look at this, dude, this is insane. Jesus Christ. He's probably one of the best assassins. Or even just one of the best like grapplers or assassins or anything that attacks fast. Because he can he can scale his own attack speed, he's gonna make an insane assassin. I think we lost, or did we win? I don't know. No, we lost. Oh no, we won. I guess we won. I wasn't even paying attention to the mission. I was just doing the tutorial. But I'm gonna start doing tutorials in the actual maps so I can show it in a more like practical situation. Because the stupid demo thing is just way too easy. Uh, so we didn't get enough enemies defeated, but we're doing a tutorial, so it's whatever. So yeah, thanks for checking this out. Uh, definitely like and subscribe, drop a comment, let me know what you think, and peace.